Hello team owners of the USFL Premier 20 Team Fantasy Football League. I have already done a Highlights Week 13 on the fan page. Uh, I discussed the top eight board there. So go there to see uh, what is the official highlights uh, for us and for the fans. It's there on the Fantasy Fan page now. And uh, with that said, uh, Mark Nemi will be bringing a five-game preview later this week on the fan page. The five games that matter the most, that have the most importance in the playoff implications. Again, our top eight are set, but they can be mixed up and uh, positionally shaken around there. And Mark will be bringing that to us later uh, this week. Uh, Pre, pre previewing and detailing those five games. So I'm going to give love to the other five games. Again, you can go to the fan page to see the official highlights. This is for our closed group, giving a little love to the five matchups next week. All of these 10 teams are not going to be, um, they are playing each other, but none of them will be uh, in the top bracket. So here we go. The LA Express lose a tough game this past week um, to Portland. Uh, Portland, Jason Wise knocks out El Briscoe and Dale Duncan, uh, but they face the goal this week, which should be an easy win, but it looks to be a pretty close game as long as Michael Rutt lines them up. I know, Michael, you've had a tough season, a uh, winless season. It's, it's just, you know, especially if you're in other leagues that you want to focus on, you know, sometimes it's like the hell with that league. But line them up, Michael. You have a chance to go out in style, get you a win here at the end of the season. This should be a close game. 22 to 20 is the projection in favor of the LA Express. And then uh, myself and Jake, we're going to battle it out here at the game in week 14. It's uh, notched at 22 to 22. I'm going to try to take my gamblers into the second tier uh, in the second tier playoff bracket. Uh, Jake's locked in. San Antonio Gunslingers are locked into that second tier. So I've got a lot to play for, for here. Number one, to beat my buddy there. And number two, to make it into that uh, second tier and out of the bottom four. And then the Bulls, Phil Wilfong, and the Orlando Renegades face each other. Uh, Renegades took a tough loss, got knocked out of the top tier, spent most of the season in the top tier, uh, but uh, lost a painful loss this last week to his divisional foe, Terry Harness uh, and John Bassett. Um, tough loss, Orlando's out. But they, they get the chance to redeem themselves and hold on to second place in the South, uh, facing the Bulls, the hot Bulls who are surging, Phil Wilfong's team. But this one's notched at 22 to 22 also. And then the Spirit uh, play uh, the Stallions. Uh, the Spirit has spent uh, all year in the bottom four. Now they have a shot uh, at getting out of the uh, bottom four and being in that second tier, getting a shot to win their first two rounds and maybe even end up on the top eight board. That would be a real story if that happened. I would love to see Matt be able to do something like that. Uh, the Stallions are solidly in the second tier. Uh, and the Spirit, you got Matt, you can't play for the Spoiler Award now. you got to play to win here. I'm going to be watching. And then, uh, and then the Stars and the Feds, uh, I'm sorry to announce that Paul Thompson is going to be leaving us. I've assigned Michael, uh, Michael Harris to uh, find himself a GM to run his team. I can certainly find one for him, but I'm giving him the opportunity. He's excited about that, uh, trying to find someone to run the Federals. And I hate to hear it for Paul. I'm sure we'll stay in touch and we'll stay friends with Paul. But he is favored over the stars, um, uh, Michael Lancelotti and Ken Dunnick's team, 23 to 18. Um, both of these teams, I think the stars are solidly in the second tier and the feds, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give someone else an opportunity unless Paul really wants to play uh, in the playoffs. I'm going to give someone else an opportunity to fill that last spot in the second tier, and we'll put the feds in the bottom if that's what Paul wants. Uh, he certainly has the record to be in the second tier. But, look, that's it, rounding it out, guys. Uh, stay tuned for Mark's production. Uh, next week, Michael Rodriguez will be bringing – uh, the top tier playoff preview, and Phil Wilfong will be bringing the second tier playoff. So we'll have two separate previews, one giving love to the top tier, 
one giving love to the bottom tier. Remember, the bottom four teams, your season is over. You will line up against a team, but uh, you certainly don't have to play. You can focus on your other leagues. Um, and then the uh, second tier, you guys are all battling for position in week 14, and it's an important week for you to get that good position, get yourself solidified in that second tier, and have that shot at one of your buddies in the top tier that lose their first two rounds. All right, have a great week, guys. Uh, look forward to uh, uh, all the productions. Uh, Mark Nemi coming up, Michael Rodriguez, Phil Wilfong. It's good to see these guys doing something here at the end of the season. Have a great week.